But research in 2014 and 2016 by King's and Imperial Colleges recorded 1,000 hospital admissions a year amongst those with pre-existing respiratory conditions. And in 2018, King's College found that as many as 36,000 people a year are dying early due to air pollution. So when will this government stop tinkering around the edges and finally introduce legally binding limits to abide by the World Health Organization's stricter clean air standards? Yeah. Minister. I thank uh, the Honourable Lady for her question. We need to get those targets right. Within the Environment Bill, we have committed, and that should be back to this place shortly, we have committed to setting a target, but it's really important that we get the evidence right to set the right targets. Now, those targets will be based on evidence. We're currently reviewing the air quality strategy. We will be um, looking at a revised strategy in 2023, but the PM2 target um, that that is on a population basis. We also need the population exposure targets. So areas such as hers, where we know there are hotter spots, we can work directly with local authorities, because we all own this challenge, to make sure that we get the right targeted measure in the right areas. The overall target is important, but also are those more targeted individual approaches.